Hi, Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. Today we're taking a look at the Make You Form Box. This is an affordable desktop vacuum former, and it works with any standard vacuum or shop vac. We have ours plugged into a small shop vac back here, and it works just great. A vacuum former lets you take 3D objects, like for example some of these soap molds that we 3D printed on an Ultimaker 3D printer. You can take those and put them on the bed here, and then using the vacuum suction it will create a mold around those objects for you, or a form around those objects. So it opens up a lot of neat little project possibilities. We've made chocolates, we've made soaps. Uh, there's all kinds of things that you can do. You can also use it for things like product packaging, so you can actually form the sheet around your product and create a very nice custom fit packaging for it. It includes everything you need to get started out of the box, including a couple of different types of materials. They give you form sheets and cast sheets. The main difference is the cast sheets are food safe. On the back of the machine, there's a tube and a rubber connector that connects to your vacuum. So this connector goes over your vacuum tube. That creates an airtight seal. There's also a power outlet on the back of the machine that your vacuum plugs into so that the Make You Form box can control your vacuum. It can turn it on and off when needed. It's pretty easy to operate. There are two trays on the machine that you can see they have these yellow handles here. Right now they're in the lower position, but they can be raised up and they can be locked into the up position. They can also be separated. So if we put them back down and then lift the outer handle, you can raise one tray, locking it into the up position, leaving the other tray down. This is how you load your material sheets in. So for example, we can take a form sheet, put it then on this rubber seal, center it there on the bottom, bring the tray back down, lock it in place, and then we can raise it up against the heating element, which is in the upper part of the unit here. That material then heats up. Meanwhile, we put our forms on the bottom, or our shapes, and when the material is up to temperature, you lower both trays down all the way to the bottom, and it will automatically turn on your vacuum, creating your form. So on the front we have a couple of controls. There's one for the temperature, one for the timer, and then there's a, a timer control button over here. Now, the timer is useful in getting started. It might make it easier for you, but I've actually found I get better results not relying on the timer. You can simply turn the temperature knob to the desired temperature, which the material tells you, and wait for it to heat up. There's an indicator light on the front that'll tell you that. It blinks yellow or orange as it's heating up, and then it goes to solid green when it's ready. Then you put your material sheet in place and lift both trays as I showed you, and just watch your material it'll start to droop down as it heats up. And once it goes about half an inch to three quarters of an inch down, you know that it's ready. Then you lower both trays all the way down. It'll turn on your vacuum for you, make your form, and you're done. So we've been using the Make You Form box for a few weeks now. We've been really pleased with it. It's been a lot of fun. We've done some fun little projects with it. You can check out some of our other videos to see what we've done, like the chocolates that we made and the soaps that uh, we showed you here. It's easy to use and it opens up some interesting project possibilities, especially if you already have a 3D printer because that gives you opportunities to create objects of all different types that you can then use with this machine so they go really nicely together. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can see more like this. See you next time.